your water footprint and indirect usage. In our first video, we looked at your water footprint and how it can get bigger or smaller depending on how you use it directly. Now, your direct usage of water is like when you turn on your washing machine, a tap, another tap, or a shower, or flush your toilet. You're using water directly. Indirect usage is something a little bit different. We're gonna look at that today. Oh yeah, circle that twice. Water is used in the making of almost every manufactured product, from paper to clothing made of cotton or polyester, plastics, electronics. Huge water is used in the making of food and chemicals. In all of the things that we use, industrial processes use water for cooling, diluting, processing, fabricating, washing, and transporting a product. Some use a lot more than others. I had the pleasure of working with the grade eight class at Earl Grey Middle Public School in Toronto. We did a photo exploration of the things in our lives that we think use up a lot of water in the making of. For instance, we found out that it takes 200 liters of water to make one latte. How is this possible? Well, let's think about it. How many times have you seen one of these? A takeout latte container made of a sturdy, non-recyclable cup, a plastic lid, cardboard sleeve so you don't burn your hand and then you have all these things and all of them take water just to make especially the plastic but let's not overlook what goes inside the latte let's start with the sugar it comes from sugar cane which is a crop that needs a lot of irrigation it comes from countries that can't rely on rain necessarily and then there's the milk which comes from the cattle industry and it takes a lot of water to keep cows happy then we have coffee beans, which uses huge amounts of water just to harvest the beans alone and get them off the plant. Then of course, you take all of these things away and you put them in a truck for transport. Well, let's look at gasoline. It takes 10 liters of water to make one liter of gasoline. That's five of these two liter bottles that we looked at earlier. And the liter of gas doesn't get you very far. It doesn't get you very far on one of these. It takes a thousand kilograms of steel to make a car, which requires 147,000 liters of water to make that steel. And what about rubber on all the tires? 1,500 liters per tire times four is 6,000 liters. That adds up to enough water to fit into two in-ground swimming pools. Maybe every time you see a car, you should just imagine two in-ground swimming pools driving around on a set of wheels. The students and I looked at other items. We realize that our world is full of things that take so much water. It would be a great experiment for you, yourself, to look online, to look in books, to look in your everyday life and find out how big your water footprint is because you are a consumer.